Now this is the passage for question number three. In earlier times, living was defined by distance, but now it is defined by silence. I can see a comparison between the previous times and the present times. Okay, and it's giving us the definition that prevailed in the past and the definition of leaving in the present. Okay, so earlier leaving was defined by distance, means the more distant you become, that is what leaving results in. Okay, and today leaving is defined by silence, that is to say, if you are non communicative with someone, that is what refers to leaving. Okay. Everybody everywhere is just a text away, a phone call away. So now distance is not at all important. Okay. So because these devices, okay, texting devices and calling devices, they have eliminated the factor of distance. So everywhere everybody is just a text away, a phone call away. Okay. Relationships are often defined by the frequency and intensity of communications between two people. Okay. Now, relationship can be defined by the frequency and intensity. Means the more frequent you communicate and more intense the communications are, that is to say the relationships are strong. Okay. Now, if the frequency of communication declines or the intensity of the communication declines, relationships are strained okay so i suppose you understood what's the significance of this first paragraph is okay now the person moving on and changing a relationship no longer makes a one time choice to physically go to another town today it's not just shifting or moving to another town that breaks a relationship okay so it's not a one time thing that happens he makes a series of minute by minute decisions to not text, to not email or call, to turn intense communications into sporadic conversations or no communication. So these, okay, if someone today is willing to break a relationship, it's a series of decisions. It's not just a big bang, one time thing. Okay. It's a series of things that happen minute by minute, okay, second by second, moment by moment, where he makes a choice not to text, not to call, or not to email, or just simply transforms the intense communications once prevailed into just sporadic conversations. Now I'll let you know what sporadic could be. Okay. Now if I understand turn intense communication into sporadic. So I'm trying to build a contrast between intense and sporadic. So I should be looking for something that's the opposite of intense. Okay. So let's move on. His name was once constant on his friend's phone screen, but now it is rare and the void is a wound. Once upon a time, his name was constant on his phone screen. That is to say, the f he used to receive continuous phone calls from his friend, but today it's rare. The communications are infrequent or sporadic, and the void is a wound. That is to say that this vacuum is painful. The relationship, the strain in relationship, the splitting up of relationship, is often painful. Now let's move to the question. Now what the question could be? Let's see. The second line of the passage is primarily concerned with offering which of the following. So what is the second line of the passage doing? Let's see. Now let's see. Everybody everywhere is just a text away, a phone call away. That is, relationships are often defined by the frequency and intensity of communication between two people. So what is the second line doing? Now let's look at the question. The third line of the passage is primarily concerned with offering which of the following. Let's look into the options an amended definition of the word leaving, a comparison of definitions for leaving, 
past vis-a-vis -vis the present, a criticism of how things have changed over years, an explanation that leaving today actually doesn't separate, an illustration that developments in transport and communications actually doesn't take you far enough from your kith and kin. Now if you try to recall the pr uh, purpose of the third passage, okay, uh, the purpose of the third line of the passage was, you know, just to give you the transformation of the definition of the word leaving. As it's clearly mentioned that earlier, leaving was related to distance. Now, leaving is primarily associated with silence. So, the answer choice for the question should be an amended definition of the word leaving. So, answer choice A. Question number four. Let's read the passage. In earlier times, leaving was defined by distance, but now it's defined by silence. Now, in this sentence, we have been shown the contrast between the definitions for the word leaving, okay? The meaning of the word or the definition of the word leaving in the past and the definition of the word leaving in the present. So let's see what the author talks about it further. Everybody everywhere is just a text away. Now this talks about the proximity today. Everybody everywhere is just a text away. That is to say we are just a text away or we are so close that we can interact with anyone just by a single text. A phone call away or by a phone call. Relationships are often defined by the frequency and intensity of communication between two people. So the relationship is defined by the frequency, okay? The number of communication interactions that people attempt to make or the intensity of these communications, that is what defines the relationship of the people. Now if two people interact quite often or the intensity of their interactions are quite high, now the relationship is strong, okay? Is good. But if the frequency of interactions or the intensity of the interactions are less then the relationship is strained that's as simple as that okay so try to understand what's happening in this okay first in the first sentence we have been given two different definitions in two different time periods okay then in the second line we have been introduced to the proximity of people with the advent of communications the, with the advent of technology in communications okay now the third one the third line it's just talking about the shift okay the shift in the definition of uh, the word leaving the definition of the word okay so that is what is described in the third sentence now let's see the person moving on and changing a relationship no longer makes a one-time choice to physically go to another town that is to say it's a step-by-step -step gradual process okay if a person wishes to break a relationship it can't be big bang just gone okay it's not that way it's as simple as or things are more process driven things are more meticulously planned so things people make a choice to break their relationships gradually that's what this sentence is trying to tell I can even understand one more thing that in the olden days if a person had left a town and went to some other place that itself was considered moving but today moving could be something else okay he makes a series of minute by minute decisions to not text to not email or call to turn intense communications into sporadic conversations or no communications okay now what is this trying to tell me so this is again reinforcing the idea that leaving or you know moving away moving in a relationship is a gradual step by step sequential process which involves a series of events okay one gradually decides not to text or not to call or not to email and turns the intense communications into sporadic conversations or no communications okay sporadic conversation sporadic okay or no communication so sporadic conversation and no communication so understand that sporadic could be something like the opposite of intense or could be very close to no communication okay his name was once constant on his phone's friend uh, friend's phone screen but now it is rare and the void is a wound it's talking about once the 
relationship is strained or the relationship is broken earlier the phone friend's phone screen always had his name but now it becomes rare and it creates a vacuum and this vacuum is always painful that's what the passage is talking about okay now let's see what the question is let's see which of the following best describes sporadic as used in line 9 of the path now as I remember sporadic the word sporadic is the opposite of intense or is equal to no communication at all okay it's the opposite of intense okay intense involuntary can it be the opposite of intense may not voluntary involuntary involuntary is something on which you do not have any command or control no it's not the opposite or it cannot be the opposite of intense less serious over there intense was not related to serious okay it's the frequency of communications okay now isolated could be unpredictable no it's not predictability or something continuous continuous if I say it's close to intense I'm looking for opposite of intense so continuous cannot be my answer choice so what is left out is isolated isolated is happening in intervals scattered okay so as you remember isolated could be close to no also okay it's towards no communication and it's opposite of intense communication so my answer choice would be C that is isolated 